Hello everyone, this is Attack the Backlog, the podcast where I, Marcus Nez, tries to make a dent in their backlog one game at a time. This episode is all about Undertow, a game about undersea adventures that may sound very familiar, but I'll get to that shortly. Undertow is all about capturing points and whittling down your opponent's reserves before your own reserves reach zero. Think Battlefield's Conquest mode, only underwater, side-scrolling, and shitty. Undertow originally came out for Xbox 360 on November 21st, 2007 and was given away for free to all Xbox Live users during the period of January 23rd to the 27th of 2008 as a make good after Xbox Live suffered an extended outage. It was literally the least Microsoft could do. That's right everyone, I'm talking about that Undertow. Not that I'm aware of any other Undertow, the Undertow many of us own and likely never played or maybe it did play it for a few minutes because well it was free unless you already bought it before the promotion in which case i am so sorry for your loss and by loss i mean the loss of the money you wasted on this not gem of a game if you did play it, I'm sure you quickly realized it was nothing special and then moved on with your life. Well, that was a smart decision because Undertow is exactly that. Nothing special. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is a game. A game about fighting other undersea divers, Atlanteans, or these alien things with various weapons in glorious 3D on a 2D plane. And to be clear, there's Nothing glorious about Undertow or its 3D visuals. I just thought that sounded good and said, fuck it, it's glorious now. I'm talking to you, Stefan. It's glorious, glorious, Stefan. Don't let the rhythm of my words get you. I don't want to lose you, your attention, that is. Just get on your feet, because I don't want to lose you now. Anyway, Undertow is not a good game, and though I said it wasn't a bad game earlier, I was actually lying. It is a bad game, and at least the single player campaign is bad, and as to be expected, that's the only way to play the game these days, because why would anyone still be playing Undertow online almost 13 years after it originally came out? They wouldn't be, and they aren't. That said, I did play a bit online with my father, convincing him to do so because it was quote unquote in important and to summarize what he said about the game in a few sentences this is boring i don't like this can we please play something else and we did play something else something that may be the topic of another episode but that is for another time the time right now is for undertow and i know what you're all thinking can you please just get to the point and end this episode so i can get on with my life to which i say fine i'll give you what you want so stop crying about it already jeez louise papa cheese we're underwater after all so i can't even see your tears for fears of being tenacious <laughs> The single player campaign consists of nothing but conquest matches and a handful of boss fights, all of which are boring when played on the easiest difficulty and far too challenging when played on any other difficulty, making the whole experience absolute garbage. Most of the time you're trying to capture points and kill enemies in order to tick their number faster than your number. It is a tried and true game mode and conceptually isn't bad. The problem, however, is that your AI teammates are all fucking idiots who do literally nothing, making any difficulty above casual incredibly frustrating and not worth the work needed to be done in order to achieve victory. You can play online with a friend or two, but again, no one is playing this game and why the hell would you play this when there are thousands of other options out there? Because of the terrible friendly AI that in no way reflects the relentlessness of the enemy AI, the single player experience is the opposite of enjoyable and ultimately just a waste of time. What's even worse, there's an additional DLC campaign you can buy for $5 and because I love you all so much, I bought said DLC and guess what? It's just more of the same old bullshit and 100% a waste of money. Is Undertow a good Good game? No. Is it a bad game? Yes. Do I regret playing it and beating it? No, because now I can say I beat Underdo and honestly, how many people can say that? I know you're jealous. Don't try and hide it. All I can really say to your jealous eyes is Anyway, that will do it for this here episode of Attack the Backlog. Once again, I am Mark Kuznez. Y'all can find me on Twitter and pretty much everywhere at PXSausage. The site is, of course, pixelatedsausage.com where you can find 
this podcast, the Pixelated Sausage Podcast, and Unamazingly Baka, all of which are available on podcast services across the globe. You can also check out the art I make on the site, and if you see something you like, you can purchase a print of the piece you fancy. And if you fancy the site in general and anything that we do, please go over to patreon.com slash pxs and support us that way. As always, thank you for watching or listening. I hope you enjoy this here episode and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Pull the fleet to the doors and seal them. I suspect that this Dawnbreaker is the key to a stellar nexus. Our transcendence to the higher planes has arrived. My main cannons can't even dent this thing. This door is forever closed to us now. I must return to Atlantis. Well, I have seen gratitude expressed more eloquently. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Did she seem frightened to you? Helena? Frightened? <laughs> I'm more curious to meet our new friends. This entire hemisphere was supposed to be dead. Yes. <clears throat> About that. <laughs>